So hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove and reinstall your balance shaft covers. So over the years the balance shaft covers changed and I have three different examples with me today and I'm going to be showing you how to remove them and then reinstall them. So I'm going to start with this one here. This one is from an 83 and once I get it off then I'm going to be showing you what the differences between these are. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is remove this cover and in order to do that you want to go in the reverse order of how you torqued it down. This one's going to be my number one. Once I have them loosened, I'm going to go ahead and remove this nose piece here. With this removed, I can go ahead and remove the bolts in the cover. Now that all the bolts are removed, we're ready to remove the cover. And what I like to use is a miniature crowbar. You can see these tabs placed around the outside edge of the cover. You can get a screwdriver or whatever you like underneath there. And then the cover should just come right off. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and clean this up. Again, I have a brand new razor. And I'm just going to try and get the edge of it here. And then gently peel all of that gasket maker up. If you're lucky, it will all come up in one piece. If not, it's not a big deal. But it makes it a little bit easier. Alright guys, I got all that gasket material off there now and as you can see it came off really easy and in fact a lot of people that I've spoken with actually prefer this over the 574 since if you're going to be doing this every day then you want the gasket material to come off easier. However, that said, I'm not going to be putting that back on there. I've actually got some 574 that I'm going to use for this video so I'm not planning on taking these back off again and I thought that I would demonstrate the way the factory service manual says to do it. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now I have made a few videos on balance shaft covers before but they seem to get lost in longer videos so that's why I'm doing this so that way it can just have a video of its own and I can show you guys how to do it. So this is the cover that came off this 83 engine. They changed these covers slightly over the years, which requires a slightly different installation for each one. Now, as you can see, we have two holes here, which are for these two studs. Later on, they did away with these studs and they even added a few more bolts to the later covers. And if you turn this cover over, you'll find the other half of the bearing shell. Now, if we take this 86 cover, for example, this one here is just a cover bearing shell is actually attached to a separate casing that is still on this engine and as you can see there are no holes here but by the time we get back to 87 they brought back the other half of the bearing shell being inside the cover and as mentioned they put some additional bolts in there actually retaining the ones from the 86 model. So now that we've seen some of the differences, I'm gonna go ahead and install this one since everything's cleaned up and ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the shaft from this one. And I'm gonna put a little bit of assembly lube down in the bearing like that. And I'm gonna work it in a little bit. 
I'm going to take whatever's left over and actually put it on the shaft here and here. And I'm going to place it back. I'm going to turn the cover over here and also put some assembly lube in there. Next, I'm going to be changing this O-ring here. The O-rings are also different. The earlier car has a slightly larger O-ring. Now that that's installed, I'm going to put it in position. So next I'm going to be applying the Loctite sealant and there's several ways to apply this. You can just run a bead around the cover or on the block. Now for the early engines, I recommend doing it on the cover. That's because it's pretty difficult to get around these studs and if you don't get around them well, then you can develop a leak from them. And you can also use a felt roller and roll it onto the cover. And again, these studs are in the way, so you can't really use the roller on the block. So what I'm gonna do is run a bead around the cover here, and then all the excess is just going to squish out. All right, notice how I went around all the bolt holes, including these two studs, which I mentioned could develop a leak. Now that I have my assembly lube on my balance shaft and my new rear seal in, I'm ready to install the cover. So all right, all I've done is just barely snug these down. And before I go any further, I'm actually going to put the end cap on here. That way the balance shaft will be on straight when I go to torque this down. So all right, as I've already mentioned, I put some assembly lube on here. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. Get it lined up if I can, there we go. And what that's going to do is hold the balance shaft straight, make sure that it's in there correctly when I go to torque the cover down. You don't want the balance shaft in there crooked or anything and then torque it down. You can ruin the bearings. So as you can see, it spins freely. Now that we have the cap on, we know that the balance shaft is being held straight and we're now ready to torque this down. So all right, next we're ready to torque the cover down and there is a specific sequence and two steps involved in torquing this down. And the Haynes manual has it listed here for this model anyway. And you can see that we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the first thing I'm gonna do is torque these M6 bolts down to eight newton meters. Then I'm gonna torque these nuts and these bolts down to 15 newton meters. Then I'm gonna go back 
in step two and torque these nuts down to 30 newton meters and these bolts down to 20 newton meters. Now remember we got to do these in a specific pattern here. So we're gonna start with this one here. This one will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So I have my torque wrench here and I have it set to eight newton meters. Now for the second step, I'm going to torque these nuts down to 30 newton meter. And then these bolts here are going to be torqued down to 20 newton meters. So now that I have this balance shaft installed, I'm going to be doing the other one. It's the same exact process as before. Now, if you have any of these other balance shaft covers, then you'll need to check with the manual to see what the torque specs and the sequence is. And I do plan to eventually do videos specifically on these covers and how to install them. But for now, I'm just doing this one as a guideline. So all right guys, that is how you install a balance shaft cover on an early 944 engine. Now Loctite recommends that you let this cure for 24 hours. Of course, if it's cold outside, that's going to slow down the cure time and you may want to wait 48 hours in that case. Now eventually I do plan to make videos on these later covers, but for the most part, the installation is the same. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.